Missouri's next governor, Mike Kehoe, says one of his top priorities is addressing crime, and he wants to do it by putting the St. Louis Police Department under state control. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley joining us live now with how this issue seems to be a revolving door in Jefferson City. Emily. That's right. This is a topic that lawmakers have spent a lot of time on debating in years past. Both the House and the Senate have debated this type of legislation, but it never made it across the finish line. And it would be about who would control the city's police department. Across the state, Kansas City is already having their police department controlled by the state. And many tell me that it doesn't make the city any safer. I feel like Republicans love to attack Kansas City and St. Louis. A long debated political issue resurfacing following the election. You know, I've been, you know, very vocal, especially in St. Louis. I think state control is appropriate for that police department. St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones promptly released a statement saying, in part, every year since I've been in office, St. Louis has seen a significant reduction in crime and homicides, and a state takeover threatens that progress. Jones pointed to the Kansas City Police Department's state takeover and the record high homicides in 2023. Emily Weber represents Kansas City in the General Assembly. Here in KC, that's a conversation that we continue to have for years. Why don't we have local control of our police department and when is that going to happen? I'm for certain and for sure that St. Louis and Kansas City will, will stand together to make sure that this does not cross, cross the finish line. Governor-elect Mike Kehoe believes if the state has control of the agency, streets will be safer and it will be easier to recruit and retain officers. You're not going to have any private business consortium spend money in redeveloping areas of any inner city, not just St. Louis, unless they feel like their employees, their customers, et cetera, can be safe. Mayor Jones also stated, I'll continue to work with Chief Tracy, our Office of Violence Prevention, Circuit Attorney Gabe Gore, and community partners to reduce crime in St. Louis and advocate fiercely against state control. Now, I did reach out to Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas to find out his response to Kehoe's proposal, since they're already controlled by state police. A spokesperson did respond to me and said that it doesn't make hiring any easier or they don't have better staffing. And on top of all of that, crime is not reduced in Kansas City. Interesting, Emily, but explain what exactly does it mean to put a police department under state control? Yeah, it might sound a little bit interesting, and especially since it would have a lot to do with what lawmakers and the governor decide here in Jefferson City. What would happen is instead of a police department being under the mayor's office, all decisions would be made by a board. The past legislation said that there would be a board of five people, one of them being the mayor, and then the other four would be appointed by the governor. Now, that's not saying that would be set in stone if approved this year. It all depends on the legislation that would be approved by the General Assembly. And Emily, just going back not too long ago, the city police department was under state control, right? That's exactly right. Actually, to kind of get it, put it in perspective here, the St. Louis City Police Department was actually under state control back from the Civil War all the way until 2012 when voters across the state decided to put it back under local control. Now, Kansas City is still under state control. And to give you an idea here, they are the only major city in the entire country that is actually under state control. Mm -hmm. Could St. Louis be back under that same umbrella? We'll find out in the upcoming session, which starts in January. Emily Manley in Jefferson City, thanks so much. Well